you ever wondered if you just missed it with your destiny? Maybe you got off track a little, or maybe you got so far, you felt like you were so far off track, you'd never get back on at all. Well, there's some good news about that. I remember in my 20s, I was Mr. Discipline. I had my yearly goals and my monthly goals and my Bible study plan and my hour of power. And I kept track of every penny I spent. And by golly, if you weren't leading that kind of disciplined Christian life, you're a spiritual wimp. And my righteousness was my spiritual disciplines. So one day God just gently reached in and touched my disciplines and threw them all out of joint. And I couldn't do it anymore. And after a year of this, I finally just said to God, I give up. I can't lead the Christian life. I'm going to be one of those people that Paul talks about that gets into heaven, you know, with the clothes burned off their back, smelling of smoke, where all my works are straw and they've been burned in the fire. And I'm no good to you. If you can do anything with my life, you do it. But I'm through. And... <laughs> I think Jesus was just waiting for that moment because then he started speaking to me that he loved me. And I was so, I that that voice of Jesus saying I love me, I rebuked that for the next six weeks. This could not be God. God could not love me in this place. I felt like I was so far off in my destiny, I'd never get back onto it again. But here's the good news about that. The way we think about destiny is totally connected to earthly time. And when you think about destiny in terms of heaven's time, it looks totally different. So the main earthly way people think about destiny is, I have this God-designed objective that my life should reach out here, and I have to make the choices that get me to that objective. That's one way of looking at destiny, and it's true. Now, here's another totally different way of looking at destiny that's also true. God takes whatever choices you make in life and makes your destiny out of them. So, when you're standing in heaven's time, God looks at you and you, you know, there's a decision in front of you. Should I move here or move there? And you choose here. And God says, okay, we're going to make the best out of that. I'm going to make your destiny out of that. And I think that's a place where Romans 8.28 applies. All things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So be a lot less hyper about making the right choice. Be a lot more interested in doing it with Jesus because that's what he's about. He's much less concerned whether you take job A or B than whether you you talk about the decision and, and take it as an opportunity to be together. So my season where I was so far off in my call and all my disciplines came apart, my ministry came out of that. And a lot of what I do today is help people find grace and find the presence of God in their failures. And God took my feelings and made something beautiful out of it. And he's going to do the same for you because you are beautiful. Your life is beautiful. Every piece of it, good or bad, is valuable to God, and he's going to make something of it. So let's take a minute and ask Jesus about that. Jesus, how come you're so intent on making something beautiful out of my messes? Mm -hmm.